All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special edition of Doobie's Deals for NBA Top Shot on the FSI YouTube channel. I am Jason Dubiel, and we got a couple of visitors with us here today. We got Keith, a.k.a. K-Milk2, and we got Harley, a.k.a. Parhabs. Uh, they both have their Lamello Ball Master Challenge uh, Cool Cats packs in their uh, NBA Top Shot accounts, and they are going to rip them with us right now. So, uh, Keith, if you would like to do the honor, share your screen, and let's giddy up. Let's go. Shout out to Keith also because it's his birthday. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Can you guys see it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Cool. Let's go. All right. Here it comes. All right. Can we get music? No music. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, oh boy. Oh, oh. middle. <laughs> little mid guy right there. <laughs> Ouch. Watch that play. Watch that little dunk. Nice stare down. Oh man, 1420. Tough. No. <laughs> no luck with the uh, like fun little numbers either. Unfortunately, there. Four twenty. Four twenty. Yeah, there you go. You got. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Somebody. <laughs> Way to relax after this challenge. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. If you want to go to uh, Harley over there. Yeah, so I'm going to do it on my phone so everyone sees right here. Right, got my pack. Yeah, I'm going to spotlight you. Yeah. That way, that way we can see a little bit bigger too. All right, so let's do this. I'll do this at the same time. All right, here we go. Oh, oh man. Both, both very close to each other here. All right. Yeah, so that's what we got here. All right, all right. 1161 out of, what is it, 2,900? Two, 2,953. 2,953. All right, so what, uh, what are you guys' thoughts overall about um, the Cool Cats Master Challenge? They also, uh, NBA Top Shot released um, their kind of like perks that they um, – said that they were going to give to uh, users that completed and held on to uh, each of the moments uh, for the master challenge. Um, what are you guys' thoughts about kind of like the process? Obviously, NBA Top Shot's been kind of in, in uh, a little bit of a downtrend uh, for the last month or two now, uh, especially since March. A lot of like new users upset about kind of like the, the values going down a little bit, but this this master challenge was definitely highly highly anticipated. What are what are your thoughts after the fact? I mean, I I, I thought this was the challenge to complete. Um, I do this, you know, partner with a buddy of mine. And, you know, he's really into the whole you know crypto and NFT world, and he really thought that this was the challenge. Um, you know, and they were like you said, it's the master challenge. It's a Lamelo Ball, right? It's a potential rookie of the year moment. Um, I do like um, the, the perks that you mentioned, right? So, you know, the first one is that by completing this challenge, um, I will have access to all future um, Series 2 drops. So that's nice. And then I think they said something also about this summer, you know, an exclusive Discord chat with exclusive perks and, you know, possible NBA players joining as well. So I think that, you know, this may be the start to, you know, the re, you know, the you know, getting back up there in, 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 in Top Shop now that they're, you know, spending money in advertising. And, you know, we see, we saw that partnership with FanDuel about a month ago or a few weeks ago. So I think this was the challenge to complete and we'll see how it plays out. Keith, what are your thoughts? Um, I, I, I'm somewhat satisfied with the challenge. I, I got in after the Luca challenge had dropped. So it was always tough to try to complete it. was able to get the Luca on the dip, uh, actually today. Um, so it didn't get the best price, but got a good price, uh, but was invested in all the prior challenges. So still a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of money spent. Um, 
don't want to see the tally, but but happy with the reward. Um, I, I think the additional perks, it'll depend on how restrictive these next legendary drops are. Uh, the more restrictive they are, the better the perk it is. Um, in terms of the Discord, uh, I think it'd be really cool if they got Lamelo to come on in like the first one. Um, and, and again, it's, it's going to be a small group of guys, guys and gals, um, you know, that, that participate. So it, it, it could have a lot of, uh, hidden value, potential value. I mean, you're still talking under thousand users, you know, you're mm -hmm. still talking, you know, the way that Top Shot has grown over the last several months, we have 500,000, uh, users that have at least one moment in their account. You guys are, are definitely a part of a very exclusive club here, under 3,000 uh, users. And, and I think, you know, Top Shot is listening definitely to some of the, the growing pains that are, that are happening and that, you know, users have some frustrations. But, you know, like you said, uh, Keith, I think time will tell really to understand really how valuable and exclusive this kind of uh, perk is going to be. And you know, LaMelo coming on for the, the first one uh, in that Discord would be pretty phenomenal. And, and seeing like maybe, because he's coming out with his own NFTs. Mm -hmm. What if he comes on to that Discord and he reserves maybe, because I know that Top Shot cannot promise like anything for monetary value with those extra perks, but there's nothing wrong with other giveaways from some of those other users, I would assume, you know? So maybe, maybe that is kind of like the, the positive that comes out of that, you know, and you're less than 3000 users uh, with those completions and will all 3000 ish show up every time? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I mean, uh, and, I, and I think, I, I think part of it is you have to keep all 30. Yes. Um, so how, right now, how, how many people have dumped their Luca or, or, or some of their, they're, they're lesser cats. Well, I see I see here that I just checked right now the the cheapest lamella right now was going for uh, six hundred and seventy dollars. Jeez, mm -hmm. it's so. the, the paper hands there. It's crazy, you know, to to think that many people paid much much more for that just for the the Luca. Yeah, like, it's crazy. So, so I, I mean, about an hour ago, my buddy said he saw the cheapest lamella going for a thousand, and now it's already down to six seventy. So. I hope people don't, you know, get rid of their lamellas too quick. Yeah, I, I, I think that's a point. I think that'll get bought up by, by people that missed out. And then I, I think, you know, the core collectors, it's, it's fairly sticky and it's going to be a tough card to buy. Um, right. and, and again, you know, it has the story to go along with it, you know, five, 10 years from now. Right. Well, and then ultimately, will those people that buy up the, the Lamello, will they have any advantages or not? I mean, I, I don't think they will. I don't think they should personally. Um, but, you know, and for me, uh, hearing that price at 670, if there is that possibility of the perk, why not? You mm -hmm. know, uh, come on. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a discount, essentially. Now, I, if I'm top shot, I'd come out right away and I'd say, no, that you're not, you're not easing your way in like that. You, these people did go through the grind and everything, you know? Um, so that reward should probably remain for those people, in my opinion. Um, would I benefit from that possibility? Sure, but should I? Probably not, you know? So um, what, else, what else do you guys think? Uh, I, I guess kind of just to keep things relatively short here, what, what are your thoughts about the current state of Top Shot and kind of what you hope the roadmap that they're going to be releasing within the next couple of days or maybe a week or so? Um, what, what do you hope to see there to try to correct a, a little bit of this um, downturn? Um, I, I think they need to change the marketplace and implement a bid system, which, which I think they will in, in some form or fashion but it's probably not going to be until the off season. Um, something that deters undercutting. Um, and, and I think you, you could see when, you know, when, when there is action in the market, um, you know, prices are stable and prices go up. 
um, you know, just because it, 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 it essentially cuts off those undercutters. Um, and, you know, I think some sort of bid system would be a huge benefit to everything. I also think I read something on Twitter, I believe it was yesterday or the day before that, you know, it's, it's the, the, the less often packs drop, you know, the more prestigious each pack drop will be, mm -hmm. right? So, um, you know, it's also, you know, I think there was, there was all these talks about the collector score as well, right? So I know it's hard for us to figure out what our collector score is. I mean, I know there's different websites, right? Like Moment Ranks or you know, Evaluate Market, but, you know, why is it not on my top shop? top shot the count what my collector score is you know and you know if we like i know they were talking about this holo or hollow sorry drop you know potentially that i i saw yesterday maybe delayed um you know but what's needed to get what scores needed to, to be eligible for that right so i think all these things have to be a bit more clear um because obviously with all this uncertainty people may be scared to go complete a challenge like yeah. this because they don't know if they're going if it's going to get them a high enough collector score to be eligible for future drops so um I think just cleaning everything up now one year into it. Um, right. and, and I mean, who, who knows? I mean, maybe, um, maybe somehow that, that Lamello is tied, like he said, to this hollow drop and there's a little bit more exclusivity with this hollow drop too. Um, maybe they do something uh, different with that as well. Uh, I, I think they, they recognize some of the kind of um, issues that are, that are happening. Uh, Roham, uh, posted on Twitter yesterday in response to, I think, Top Shot Fund uh, comment saying that there are going to be economic fixes coming. And that's kind of a, that's a vague term for sure, but there's possibilities there. Um, you know, I, I like that idea about the bidding system, you know, not necessarily maybe even just removing lowest, lowest acts as the first thing you see on the marketplace too. You know, yeah. letting people figure it out for themselves and hunt for their own value instead of just automatically giving it to them, you know? Those are potential ideas, I think, that can, can help out uh, just in general, not, not letting people just immediately dump <laughs> things so low that it's just like, what are you doing? You just spent, you know, this amount of money and you're sacrificing like right away. It's, it's crazy. It's, it's definitely crazy to me, but. We shall see. I think, uh, I think that it's going to be an interesting summer. I think uh, it, the rest of the playoffs are going to tell us a lot because going into the off season, they need momentum. And if they don't have that momentum, I think it's going to be a tough sell come, you know, October, November when they're trying to ramp things up. And, you know, when, when they're getting ready to get out of beta, they, they need positive vibes. They need happy users. So Jordan, run it back. We'll cure all. That's what I. That's what I said. I think, uh, and I think, Girl Dad uh, retweeted it the other day. He uh, he gave me some props there. So hopefully, hopefully that is the case. I, I well, think... Im Im imagine that with uh, like a ten thousand collector score to be eligible yeah. for the drop. That would be massive. I mean, obviously, like that would help the market. <laughs> I'll buy. I'll buy two thousand two dollar moments to do. That. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, <laughs> That would be insane. Yeah, just because that Jordan, you know, is going to be insanely, insanely sought after. So time will tell. I mean, he's he's an investor. We got to see how invested he really is. I mean, is it just money or is he willing to put his face on these things? Um, you know, we've seen uh, a few other guys. We saw Dirk. We saw Tim Duncan. We've seen um, uh, quite a few other retired players jump in. Shaq's going to be in the, the next run of back, supposedly. AI. I mean, those old stars, people will definitely want those. So Jordan is the creme de la creme. I, I think everybody wants that for sure. So, all right. I don't want to take too much uh, more of your time, guys. Thank you so much for joining me and, and for opening up your packs. Uh, curious to see how things go. I think uh, time will tell what the true value ultimately is going to be of these uh, lamellos. Uh, great cereals or not so great cereals. So thanks guys, appreciate it. Take care. Yes, thank right. you.